What's up, everybody? I am Matt with 366 Sports. I have Caleb and Billy with me. You guys can follow us on our Twitter handles below, and you can follow 366 Sports on Twitter at 366 Sports, and you can like us at facebook.com slash 366 Sports. Today, we're going to talk about the best and worst teams in the NFC South. So I'm going to kick it off to Billy. Billy Bucks fan, 366. Billy Bucks fan to pick his who he thinks going to win the NFC South. Which features the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, for the fine introduction. Yes, you can catch me on Twitter, Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers 366, Billy Bucks fan 366. Uh, and I'm about to lose face in my own city because I think that the Saints are going to be the best team in the NFC South. I know, I know. Roast me now, drag me, do what you will. But that's a top four, top five roster in the league. Can it happen that the Bucks come out in first place? Yes, it absolutely can. Whichever team has the healthier quarterback will probably win that division. But uh, no, I'll leave it up to you guys. Go ahead and drag me as to why I'm totally wrong so, for picking my so, own team. So, so Billy Saints fan 366, I actually agree with you. Aww. I actually agree with you. I actually think this – I've, I've said the whole entire time the Saints are going to win this division. And I think the Bucks are probably still a playoff team. But that's a tough team to yes. knock off. Because Drew Brees yes. doesn't do anything but throw, but throw slant, slant routes in routes and out routes. And they still somehow win games. He throws seven, six, seven-yard routes. They somehow win games. That line is incredibly good. The, rece- the weapons are incredibly good. The defense is very good. It's going to be tough for the Bucks to knock them off. So I, I actually 1,000% agree with you, Billy Saints fan 366. How oh. about you, Caleb? Who, who's winning the division oh. for you? I'm going to take the upside on Tampa Bay. Um, I think Brady adds some solidity at quarterback they haven't had in years. Something that Winston never gave them. Uh, Brady's not going to lose you games and throw 30 picks a year with eight pick sixes or whatever, whatever the number was. Um, I just feel like the upside's there with Brady. The run defense is still the best in the league. Um, I get why you might pick the Saints because they are more complete on both sides of the ball, but just that the upside of the Buccaneers offense is too good for me to pass up. And uh, what can I say? I'm still a Tom Brady homer. So I, I personally think the Bucs in the Saints offense is probably like a push. And then I think defensively the Saints are better, and I think coaching staff the Saints are better. So for me, it's 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 the Saints are better, and that's not a knock on the Bucks because I think if you put the Bucks in like five or six other divisions, they probably win the division. But, I agree. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. They have to play against the Saints, and the Saints are just a really good football team, as our boy Billy Saints fan three sixty six is test. Oh. Oh, it doesn't get better. The fourth and fifth time you've said that, it hurts the same. It hurts the it same. Hurts That's the good. Same. That's good. Oh. You know what, though? You know what, though? You know what, though? We need to be honest. So I, I actually like your honesty, especially as our, you know, the, the Bucks face of 366 sports. You have to be honest with the fan base, even if they drag you for it. Mm. I've been doing it for years with the Giants. I've been doing it for years. So, yeah, like picking them first place. You're right. Yeah, exactly. I, pick, I picked them to get third place this year. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, Caleb, I'm going to kick it over to you for the worst team in the division. And I think, spoiler alert, me and you have the same one. Yeah, um, they signed Teddy Two Clicks to a terrible contract. Um, that often, There's just nothing good about that team, really. I, I'm not impressed. There's Christian McCaffrey, and then I really like Derek Brown. Um, other than that, I think this team sucks. It blows. They're going to go 3-13, and 13, and they're going to be in a position to pick Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields next year. So, this so, team is awful. So you're picking Carolina. I'm also picking Carolina. I actually think Car- the Panthers are in good hands. I believe in Matt Rule. I believe in what Matt Rule is going to do. I think that by, you know, Matt Ryan is 36. Tom Brady is 43. Drew Brees is 40 years old. In two or three years, those guys are going to be gone. Maybe not Matt Ryan. But for the most part, those guys are going to be gone, and Carolina's going to be ready to compete. So I think, as a Carolina Panthers fan, you should be hopeful, but you should be hopeful for the future because you did sign the JFK of quarterbacks. You you know, Ooh. that's what Teddy Bridgewater is. He's the JFK of quarterbacks. We would not be talking about him if he didn't rip his knee. Um, you did. That's who you signed. Um, he's, not going to be, he's not going to be the same Teddy we saw that New Orleans had last year. The defense is atrocious. There's holes everywhere. You guys lost Luke Keekley. You're going to be bad this year, and that's okay. Believe in the process. Believe in the, bro- the, the process. Endure, endure some of the pain that goes along the way. And when all these old quarterbacks are out of division, you guys should be positioned to you know, have a, a nice big run. Uh, Billy, how about you? Who's your last place team? Uh, my last place team is the Atlanta Falcons in this division. Um, so 
you're right about the Panthers. I don't think that they're going to be the best they're going to be this year, but I trust Tristan McCaffrey in that running game. Uh, I know uh, apparently, apparently you guys don't like Teddy Bridgewater, but I think that they know what they're getting from him. And I think that they can build an offense that has a strong running game with him on it. Um, I don't hate DJ Moore. I don't hate Curtis Samuel. I don't think they have a premier offensive weapon that's not named Christian McCaffrey. But um, I think they can make that work, work, work enough. I cannot find a team in the league that I am worse at predicting than the Atlanta Falcons. I have no idea. Every, it seems like they've had the same roster for the entire time that they've been there, and they, they just do good or bad or good or bad year to year. Uh, they lost Vic Beasley, which, depending on which year you're looking at, is either a 16-sack guy or a guy with less than eight. So I don't but know they, if that they, was a good they, move. They did one. gain the Dante, Fal- Dante Fowler Jr. So, I mean, yeah, if yeah, anything, okay, that's so, a push. If anything, that's a push. I, it's actually probably a gain. I think Fowler's better, but... They added uh, Fowler, and they added a punter, Matt Bosher, and they added Todd Gurley, and that's that was that was the extent of their improvements. But they also have eleven. Uh, they have eleven first round picks on offense, Billy. And you're going to tell me they're going to get last place? They have eleven <laughs> first round picks on offense. I, I, they have eleven first round picks on offense, and I'm telling you, they're going to get last place. That's what I, I'm telling you. Yes, I, I think Matt Dan Ryan, Quinn should be fired if it even gets to that point. Well, should have already been fired. Dan, Dan Quinn should have been fired after the Super Bowl. They, there was just no recovering from that as a franchise as a whole. Like they probably they should have just folded the team and moved. Um, <laughs> new name, new identity, everything. They should have just done all that after that Super Bowl. I don't know. I think it's. I think Atlanta's too talented to finish less than, than with like less than like seven wins. And I think Carolina is going to probably be less than six. Um, I'm not a Teddy believer though. You seem to like Teddy. I don't think he'll survive behind that offensive line. Um, any closing thought, uh, thoughts, boys? Nope. No? All right. Watch, sure. watch for that Carolina Panthers defense to improve in the next three years. Those first three picks they made in the draft were great. Within the next three years. Not this year, though, guys. Again, Carolina fans, yeah. you have a bright future. It's just going to suck this year. Y'all have a great day.